hardcore up here messing around with the lights. You notice what's going on right now is the picture is appearing and reappearing very fast with all different types of colors and speeds. So before you watch the video, I just wanted you to see this. Um, in a perfect world, the customer would never see the big white void, but this right here makes the whole room a big wow factor because nothing else is moving other than the picture. So enjoy the videos and check out the pictures in the back and we'll have some more of these uh, little experiments. It's like uh, kids in a candy store having a good time. Howdy folks. We are getting in to doing the invisibles. It's so right here. We have placed our white voids. That's a circle that moves, pretty cool. Got area there, one right there. It's kind of dark. Uh, this room was done very hazy last time, but we got one right there when they got to, there's a set of stairs right here. And so we'll have that area hit. I'm gonna start with red, cause it's, I, I was shocked how bright it is. So I'm, I'm hoping that the camera will translate it. So onwards and upwards, let's get this All thing right. started. I started spraying it. So you got the white right there. And then you got the invisible, white, invisible. It's going to be awesome. So we're going to continue forth here, but I just wanted to show you guys that when that gets hit with a strobe, and I'm telling Mark he's going to sit there and be shooting it with different color strobes, uh, that'll completely disappear. And we'll be detailing it out so there'll be monsters all over the place. And then when he hits it with the strobe, they all go bye-bye. More coming. All right. I put red down in certain areas. Again, that's on a white surface, invisible. And this in there. And this back wall here. Now I'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes. I'm gonna put a second coat on. Um, wildfire is not very spray friendly. So I have to be real careful how much you thin it. Either it's too thick or too thin, and sometimes it's hard to get it just right. So I'm being real careful to just put it down, let it dry, and then put another coat on. And then we'll be coming along with some yellow and some blue, and then hot detail action. So I'll show you guys pics when we get the rest of the color on. I also want to stress one thing for anybody wanting to try this. Um, I am using a brand new gun that has only had white in it, no colors. And when I do it, I'll do a fresh airbrush that had no, no other colors in it. Cause in a perfect world, we want these to go from white to the colors. And if you have any other things introduced into it, it's going to kind of ruin it. So only using a fresh gun. So if you guys want to get into invisibles, uh, separate out your guns and sit there and say, this is for invisibles and invisibles only. No touchy for anything else. Just FYI. The colors are on. I'm impressed. Nice and bright. It's gonna be cool when we detail it out. Now, got a little folding. Uh, for you non-painter folk, that's little runs. Um, or where the paint is kinda mixing into itself. But you know what? I'm not really concerned about that. I'm gonna utilize that in my design. There's ways of getting around it, okay? But I love the fact that it blended real nice. People, this is white paint. I'm blessed to be white paint. 